Hello there folks, welcome back to Dunas of Dreadmoor with me, Sharon. Uh, we're still playing as Ronald, uh, we're up to part 9 or 10 I think. Uh, hopefully we won't get interrupted this week by people hammering, because that was a bit annoying, put an end to yesterday's, uh, well not yesterday's, last week's episode. Um, before we start, we're at the Monster Zoo, there's 76 monsters left. But before we do that, we've got four steel ingots, and I was having a quick browse through the crafting that we can do. Um, and with four steel ingots, we can make, if I turn off have ingredients and go back to that axe, if we make a steel axe out of two of these ingots, we can use a third one to make another steel axe, and then use that to make a fine steel axe. Um, and then the plan is we'll keep that and try and encrust it up um, so that we can have a good axe to use, because at the moment we're using a mace, but all our skills are axe-based. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and do that. If I switch back... We'll make the axe, and then we should be able to make the second level of axe, and then the final axe. Okay, so we've got an axe with 11 slashing, 3 piercing, and 2 crit chance, I think. Uh, can we encrust it? We can, we can do something. That will give us 3 of something, and that gives us 1 slashing. So we could try, we could try upgrading it with the Reardon. Uh, how do I do this? I'll put it there, don't I? And then encrust. Oh yeah, okay. So it's now got some good damage on it. Let's sort that out. Uh, can we do anything else? We could use the iron, but we would be better saving the iron, really. Um, right, go back to the craft menu. There's also, we can make some stuff out of bronze. We've got five bronze. Uh, but let's look at our character. So we've got a mace that's got various bonuses. Hmm. Let's have a look. Where's our, where's our axe? Is this going to be better? Plus 14 versus plus 12. Maybe. Oh yeah, look at that. Look what it does to our crit chance. From 17 up to 33. We're also getting... Is that enemy dodge reduction? That's going up to 27. That's amazing. That is absolutely amazing. Right, okay. So we now have a really good axe to use. Oh my god, and now we can use our Philosopher of the Axe skill and our Norwegian Axe and Ardo and for the full benefits. Uh, right, the other thing I was looking at was armor. We've currently got an Iron Cuirass, which gives us 5 and 3 of the armor skills. Now, 5 and 3 of the armor skills, and I was looking at, I think it was the bronze one. If I take the ingredients off, yeah, we can level up the bronze one to give us 6 and 3. Oh, okay, that's not that good. That's not that good. Iron Cuirass. I don't think we can... Oh, yeah, there it is. There's nothing else we can use that in. So we need to get some steel, really. We need to get some more steel. Okay, so we've got our new axe. We should be dealing shitloads more damage. So let's go and find the rest of the monsters in the monster zoo. There's one over there. Oh, look at that. We just one-shotted him. Let's see if we can do the same with this guy. <laughs> Nearly. Not bad. Not bad at all. Oh, one shot at that guy. He resisted that one, but two shots and he's down. Um, sh let's eat some of these pears. And we'll quickly just digest those. Oh, yeah. Almost up to full health. Uh, right, so we've got various mudwen mushrooms around. I don't think we want the mudwens. We'll eat a lobster one, because that's not a time-based one. Oh, and there's a healy one up there, like a fairy wadger. We'll get that. Uh, we've got another Thermo Blobby. There should be some monsters around here. There we go. There they are. But now we've got a new axe. Oh, we should be able to kick these guys' asses. Look at this. Look at the damage. Oh, my God. Oh, we should have done this so long ago. 69 monsters left. Oh, that one resisted quite well there. Uh, there is another pair there. And the good thing is, right now they're not coming. They're not coming all at once. They're coming one at once, which is the the best way to do this. 
So we can just stand here and just keep whacking them. I'm holding an inky hog lantern for some reason. Uh, we've got 70 health left, not bad at all. Right, let's um, let's put our stun aura on. There we go. God, they're all charging us now. But we're just raping through them. Look at the damage. Oh, Ronald, what a legend. What a fucking axe murderer. Uh, let's use the Axonado. That's that one. There we go. And let's activate this Philosopher of the Axe and see what this does. Oh my god. It's killing everything. Uh, let's kill the statue. And then the samurai bot. There was just loot all over the place. Oh, there's one over there. Where do you come from? I don't know if he's one of the uh, monster zoo monsters. No, he wasn't. He must have just spawned. 56 left. Still got plenty of health. This guy's blocking quite a bit, but we've got him. This is some sort of boss tree monster, but he's going down as well. Okay, took a bit of damage. Let's have some tofu. Let's see if we can lure this guy towards us. Yes, we can. Oh, yeah. Two hits, he should go down. This guy shouldn't be too difficult. Oh, he dodges quite a bit, though. But now we have that increased dodge reduction. Which means we should be missing a lot less than we were. Jesus Christ, there's stuff all over. We also want to keep our eye out for some chalk as well, because chalk is what we can make steel out of. Uh, that's an animal over there, we want to leave him alone. Full take potion, we'll take that, you never know when that might be useful. Uh, let's eat another tofu. Because we're still taking some damage. Let's bring these guys over. I think we didn't quite take him out in one shot. Yeah, we could still do with some more healing items. I think in this pile of loot I saw a pair at least, but the animal is now stood on the loot. Bastard. Nightcap we don't want. Pear, there it is. Take that. What else is there? Another pear. Excellent. And that's it. Let's eat both of those. Can we digest those? We can if we do it one turn at a time. There we go. So what else? There's some more thermoblobbies. There's 46 monsters left. And we've leveled up. Oh yes, power level 1 million. Okay. Now we already maxed out the axe skill. Um, and the other one we wanted to start learning uh, was Killer Vegan, because now we can get an animal friend. Great. So, if we summon the animal friend... Uh, do I just click there, perhaps? Did that do it? It doesn't appear to have summoned an animal friend. Um, okay. Let's just, there's fire everywhere now. Let's walk off for a bit. Oh, there's a plum there as well. We'll eat that. Um, well, we didn't. the animal friend didn't seem to work. We'll try it again when the counter ticks off. Maybe I've got to click some distance away from the enemies. I don't know. I haven't actually used that skill before, so uh, we're a bit blind as to what it might do. I'm just trying to get these guys in a position where I can take them out one at a time. I don't want to get surrounded, because that's always a bad idea, just because of the amount of damage you inevitably take. There we go. And this one. How many is left? 35. And there's another pair, which we're going to eat straight away. Um, don't see anything too useful there. Let's kill this guy. Oh my god, he blocked that completely. There we go, he's down. These little flying ones are annoying. They're trying to come at me from the sides. Okay. We'll just have to do our best here. We countered it. There we go. Oh yeah. And that guy's down as well. Ah, there's another one of those Healy Mushrooms. I keep forgetting about them. 
We should probably eat one, really. Uh, a grungier, we'll take that. Some nice resistances. I do like the grungier. Uh, what else is there? Nothing, I don't think. Right, let's try summoning this companion again. It didn't do anything. I don't get it. Why does that not do anything? I don't know. Do any more fun fight for you if you ask? Oh, maybe we have to. Ah, maybe we have to cast it on an existing animal. Right. Oh, I see. So it's to convert an animal to our cause. Well, that makes more sense, doesn't it? Uh, right. Let's draw some of these guys in. Oh, goddamn thermal blobbies. We've got a couple of pumpkins over there and a couple of eels. We don't want to get too close to them. Because they can really dish out some damage. Let's, uh, let's try and get these pumpkin guys down. Because they do this horrible sort of lingering aura thing. Ah, one of them dropped some tofu. Okay, let's get the axonado. Break our way out of that. Excellent. They have got us sort of wedged in a corner right now, but I don't think it's going to be too difficult to break out. Because they're only a shot or two each. One of them's dropped another fairy watcher there. Uh, is that aura still up? No, it's not. Let's put our aura back on. And let's let's eat a healing mushroom. <laughs> okay. Uh, we'll use the Philosopher of the Axe, might as well. Okay, I'm moving here, so they're going to attack me from two directions at once. Just to try and reclaim some of our health. There we go, and that one. That should go down nice and easily. Right, we've got some tofu. And there's a lobster main fungus, which we shall take. Some copper wire, might as well. Fairy wadger. What's there? Nightcap. I think that's it for the loot. Uh, what have we got left? All animals. Oh my god. Okay, there's a lot of shit over there. Oh, and some chalk. I'll take the chalk. Um, in fact, let's sneak off and use this chalk to make some steel. If we can. Uh, right. There it is. This should make us two steel ingots. Yes, it did. Brilliant. Um, and can we now make anything out of the steel ingots? That's the question. Not really. Okay, we probably need a bit more of it before we can do anything. Uh, oh, can we encrust anything with it? That's a good idea. Uh, what's encrust, Commander? No, we can't. We can only do armour at the moment. Uh, so we'll leave that for now. Uh, what else? We need food. We've got one tofu and that's it. Uh, okay. Where's the aura? In fact, now the animal thing's up. Let's... Aha! Okay, it does convert them. There we go. We convert a fish paladin to our cause. Let's see if this works. Oh my god, look at all these guys. I wish I had a ranged attack to take these guys out with. Can we draw them a bit closer? Here we go. There we go. Kill that guy. Dropped a pair. Take that. Let's bring him a step closer. There we go. Is our animal paladin doing anything? I can't tell. It might have died. I don't know which one's ours. Is that it? No. Alright, we need to get these pumpkin bastards down. The hard part is just closing the range on the pumpkins. Um, that aura is worn off again. We're taking some damage from being in that cloud, although we seem to be negating a lot of it. The good thing is they take the damage as well. Is he going to come any closer? Come on, a bit closer. No, it's not. Oh, come on, don't do this to me, you stupid fish paladin. There we go. Kill that one. Oh yes, got some tofu. I'm going to eat that straight away. 
Get that guy. That's it. How many monsters left? Ten. And I think there's three pumpkins and all the rest are animals. Just soak up that damage, that's the best way. Got an apple out of it. Right, chase this pumpkin down. Excellent. Oh, yes, and some more tofu. Brilliant. Okay, let's eat the apple and the pear, get our health back. Digest them. Because these guys won't attack us. We've got seven monsters left. One, two, three, four. There's four fish paladins and some more fish paladins here. So this one... Fish paladin animal... I don't know, is that... I can't seem to attack that one, maybe. Or can I? I don't know. Oh my god. I don't know which one's ours, if there even is one that's ours. Uh, let's just kill them. Let's just kill them all. And we'll suffer the penalties. Uh, Healy Mushroom, we'll take that. What dropped over there? Nothing. Okay. Let's kill the eel. Oh, we missed. There we go, got him. The penalties are really starting to build up. Uh, right, we can't see very far now, so we have to just sneak around and find the last few animals. Two left. Two left. There's. Is that one? It's practically invisible. That's probably because of the vegan penalties. We've now got two different sets. Vegan shame. Oh, so leveling up the vegan thing increases our um, our penalties. Fantastic. Fantastic. Oh, right. We did it. And we got a shield as a reward by the looks of things. A pretty good shield. So we'll stand up here. Because we'll have to push space to get rid of these penalties. But first, let's have a look at this shield. In fact, let's get rid of all the penalties first so I can see my stats without any sort of modifiers. Oh, so this might take a moment. I'll have a quick drink while I do it. Yeah, right. Hmm, it looks like a pretty good shield. We've got it's got forty nine purpley things. I've got no idea what those purpley things are. You can reflect magic tests back at their source. Wow. So I wonder if it like, reflects spells. Forty nine percent reflection chance, maybe. That would be pretty incredible if that's what it does. Uh, right, character sheet. Our current shield gives us 6, 1 and 2. And this gives us 4, 1 dodge reduction, 1 white thing. So we're losing 1 counter chance, which is not exactly too drastic. Um, let's take that off. In fact, no, let's do it the other way. Let's do it so I can swap them out and have a look at them. doesn't appear to be that special but then again it doesn't say about the magic reflection <sighs> hmm we'll give it a go we won't get rid of our old shield we'll keep it we'll just try this one out and see see if it seems to make us any stronger Right. Well, I wasn't, I wasn't really won over by the animal friend skill, um, but maybe we can upgrade it into something a bit more useful. We'll have to see. Uh, it appears the monster zoo is completely cleared, so now we need to carry on our actual dungeon exploration, which means going over this side first, because uh, this will be the smaller area. So we might as well clear it out rather than having to come back for it. handful of monsters, nothing too dangerous. Should be able to hack our way through these with our brand new brilliant axe. Uh, we'll definitely have to try and level the axe up if we find an anvil of Krong. That would be amazing. Um, I'll just take the nightcap. We don't want it, but there's a pear hidden underneath, which we do want. Uh, we also could do with a shop to sell some of our crap, because it's starting to build up a bit. Oh, what's that? Dwarven gut rot. 
Uh, we don't need it. We're not heavily reliant on mana, really. Well, this guy's taking some killing. Let's kill a few more things. He's dropped an empty flask. We don't need that. That's for alchemy. A few more of these pumpkin guys. I don't like these pumpkin guys. We need to get some more resistances to, like, uh... Minimize the damage we take from things like that. There we go, he's dead. There should be a lever somewhere that should open these doors. I'm guessing it must be in this room. There's some there's some MC Hammer pants over there. <laughs> Brilliant. Uh copper pipe. I don't know why I'm carrying all the copper pipe around. Stairs down. Stairs down. There's definitely no lever here, so there must be one somewhere else that triggers that section. Uh, okay. What direction to go in? Should we carry on having a look around here? I reckon we should. Let's open this door. Oh, there's a trap in the way. Or is the door trapped? Oh no, it's just caltrops. Just a dead end room with some gold. Tesla's bolt. That's just bolt for crossbow. There's not much point with that, really. Uh, okay, we've got two doors over here. Should we carry on left or should we go down? Let's go left. Let's see if we can do it in a spiral shape. Oop. There was a trap there. Anti-magic field. Thank God that's not really that dangerous. There is a fountain, which could be quite handy. Cheese round. No, we don't want that. Pirate training breaches. We don't want them. Aged blue cheese. No, we are looking out for Havarti cheese still because there was a... Cheese pants we can make out of that. Oh, Jesus Christ. Did I just deflect that back? I think I might have done. That was pretty good, if that's what they did. Oh, God. There's magic everywhere. Let's drink from the fountain. It didn't do anything. No. Ugh, just ignore the traps. Ignore the traps. I'm not sure what this obelisk is for. Uh, let's carry on left. Uh, there's a cloud gremlin. A happy metal shield. That's quite nice, but it is, I don't think we need it. Uh, we'll take some ingots. Ingots are always handy. And we might be able to make the iron into steel if we can find some... Oh, there is some steel there. Brilliant. Oh, God, yes. Uh, let's kill this cloud gremlin. Okay. Let's, see, let's have a quick look at the old tinkering. Uh, just refresh the list. We can make brass, but I don't think we need brass for anything. We should do. We, we could level this skill up next level. Actually, that's probably a good idea. Uh, yeah, there was a shield we could make, but since that we just got a really good shield as a reward, I don't really see the point of doing that now. Uh, steel breastplate is a is a possibility. Have we got three steels? Yeah, steel breastplate. Let's see if that uh, have ingredients. Yes, it, we don't know. Yeah, there's nothing to level it up into unless there's a recipe we haven't got yet. Uh, pants, what's this? If we have four steel, we can make pants of shiny steel plates. Although they're probably not much better than our bronze greaves. We can have a look at them, though. We need one more steel for that. Uh, if we can find belts, we can make belts. These are all the uh, things we can make, but we don't have the actual ingredients for. Here was one of the shields we could make by just following it up the crafting tree. And there was another one somewhere else as well. Uh, See, so other than that, there's nothing too special here. Maces we don't need. We've taken the axe as far as it can go, but we might be able to increase that if we level up the skill. We should probably save the steel for that. Here was another one we could make. Look, we could make that um, up up until that point. Because then you need uh, silver. Aluminium. Steel to make a steel cuirass. We could make some bronze stuff, but again, it's nothing special. No, we'll save it then. We'll save it for later. And we'll try and level that skill up and see if we can make... Uh, our axe a bit better. Um, let's take that shield in case we can sell it. You never know. There might be a shop somewhere, which would be fantastic. Some black powder. I don't think we need black powder. 
God, this guy's not going down at all. Get down. Taking some minor damage, nothing to worry about, I don't think. Should heal most of this just as we're walking around. Got a pair off him. Put one over there. Uh, we should probably drop some crap at some point. We should sell some of these gems. I don't think we're going to need them. And we've got most of this stuff is to sell as well once we get to a shop. Uh, what's in here? Oh, a shop! <laughs> Fantastic! Let's have a look at what he's selling. Sash of the Blue Wizards. A bullet belt. Oh, a nice pimping hat there. Leather girdle. What belt are we wearing? Belt of iron plates. What was the one that we could make? Um, Because there was one we could make stuff out of. Am I the wrong thing there? Possibly. Where's the belts? Belts, belts, belts. God, they're here somewhere. There they are. Belt of iron plates. So we could... We could make a slightly better belt with the leather girdle. But it will use up all our steel. Let's sell some crap. We can always pick the girdle up and uh, hold on to it. Um, we'll sell the fancy hatchet. We don't need that. And we can sell the uh, the awesome mace we had because we don't need that now. Um, the boots. We made better boots, didn't we? Six and two. Yeah, so we can sell the boots. Um, we should probably sell our shield. Sell the other shield we found. Uh, I want to keep the Canadian one. We can sell the bronze ring. Right. Uh, let's sell these fucking potions of Midas. We don't want them. Let's... Are any of these gems really worth anything? The ruby is. Ugh, no, okay, we'll keep them for now. We could sell some of this shit. I don't think we're using any of this. Although it's not really worth anything. Powdered aluminium and salt. Powdered aluminium? We need to figure out how to turn that into aluminium ingots. Right. Let's buy this leather girdle. Because it might come in handy. And let's, let's see if we can figure out how to make aluminium. Uh, we want the ingot press. And we've got powdered aluminium. Powdered aluminium. Oh, look at all this shit as well. Scrap piping. How come we can't turn the copper pipe into stuff? Oh, because I don't have the skill. Right. We must need some sort of it's tinkering. I bet you it's tinkering. Ah, oh, Jesus. Okay. So we might as well sell the powdered aluminium. Because we can't actually level it up. Uh, we might as well sell the salt. I'm pretty sure we don't need that. Pretty sure we don't need brimstone. And we probably don't need the brass piping or the copper wire, but I'll keep it in case we can make something out of it. I know there's at least one or two secret recipes that do use it. Uh, we've also got six platinum, so we might be able to use that once we level up the uh, the smithing skill. I don't think there's anything else we want from there. Uh, so I'm going to carry on. Yeah, let's carry on. Right, so where's the next... Door. We've got one going down over here. Uh, we've got an eel in there, which we don't really need to kill. It will just give us the penalty. Uh, but we can kill these guys. What did he drop? I can't. There it is, tofu. Tofu. Uh, we've got a book and an acid trap. And a lever, it looks like a teleport lever, but you can never tell. Put lever to engage dark forces. Ha 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 ha! Uh, let's not and say we did. We'll just avoid it. Um, the trap is in the way. Derp. 
There we go. Ah, that's good. So we can... Oh, if that reflects traps... Oh, it's a diamond over there. Shinies! If that deflects traps, we can essentially use that to just farm the XP from traps, because we can just attack it until we manage to, uh, to use it. We've now got four gold ingots. Oh, there's a bunch of chests. Iron bomb. What? Someone threw something at me. Uh, we'll take this pair. Uh, that's on this thing below us. Okay. What's over there? Plastic bolt. And I see some lock picks as well. Fantastic. Right. Let's open this chest. There's a mossy shield. I'm not going to pick it up. Um, because it's only three stars, which means it's probably not worth selling. Oh god, this this whole section is rather big. What's this? Just a statue of some sort. More traps. Potion of healing. Oh yes, I like potions of healing. Uh, what else is down here? Trap. Lock picks. Yes, lock picks. Brilliant. A couple of animals. What, is, what a strange room this is. It's all laid out really weird. Uh, I'm not going to take the potion of Midas. It only sold 200 Zortmids. Oh, Jesus, there's traps everywhere. Uh, I don't think we can actually get round there. So we're going to have to walk around the long way. There's a grunge here over there. But nothing else. Uh, let's walk around. Satanic Deplacement Glyph. I'm not going to step on that. They nearly always take you somewhere you don't want to go. Uh, I'll take the grunge here. Kill the pumpkin. Die, pumpkin. Drop a plum for us. Okay. Oh, shit. Okay, that fucking hurts. Um... Thank God we had a fairy wadger mushroom to save us then. Jesus Christ. So we need some acid resistance, because that was some major uh, acid damage we took there. Some more stairs down. There's quite a few different choices of stairs down for this dungeon. Oh, he dropped a pair for us. Thank you. I don't know what these statues do. Okay, we've cleared out this room. There's nothing else we need to, we need to look at in there. Oh, shit, I stood on the displacement glyph. 